CM asked me if I can do an intro for his YouTube tutorial. And guess what? I haven't received my payment. So you're not getting an intro. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What happened here? Start the song and remember that life is a gift. Make it count. Let's go ahead and do the cutouts, amigos. And these are the pictures that I was able to use. These are cool pictures. For example, this one, cool Heisman pose of Derrick Henry. These are media day pictures that we have access to at the NFL Network. I realize that you may not be able to find these pictures on the internet, but still you can find awesome pictures, poses or game, game pictures of the athletes. So whatever you can find on on the internet, go ahead and download them. Now to do the cutout, if you're familiar with Photoshop or more comfortable in Photoshop to cut it out, go ahead and just bring that Photoshop file into After Effects. But I'm gonna show you exactly what I did here. I actually did the cutout in After Effects, brought it into the composition as you just saw me do, went to the pen tool and actually this is not a nice color, man. That yellow, I don't, I don't know, that yellow should be illegal because against white it won't work all right let's go back let's see if we get another color that's much better now my strategy was imagine i had scissors and i'm just cutting it out as fast as i can and that's exactly what i did it's i guess it was 25 percent. i was lazy and 75 percent. i thought it would be cool all right i'm gonna speed this up because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me cutting this out. Once you have your cutouts, let's go back to the graphic sports intro. And what we'll do is this one that I just cut out, let's bring it in and let's bring it in right here and let's scale it down. S for scale. And we can move it. And remember that every 10 frames, we're doing something different. So let's splice this, let's splice this. And let's get creative. What we'll do is this one for the Henry text, let's change the blending mode. Let's change it to vivid light. I think vivid light works okay. This one, let's change it to classic color burn. And this last one, let's see, linear burn. That looks pretty cool. Let's go back. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So let's check it out. And we can also add an effect to Derrick Henry. Let's add a tint. Select the first one and go to effect, color correction, go to tritone. And what we'll do is let's select this red color. And let's change it. And we might need to cheat it a little bit. And you see where that blending mode is giving a cool effect. It might be too much. You might have to go back and figure out another blending mode and see if it works. Maybe this one. So you can see the name Henry. But it's totally up to you. Just play around and, and experiment. This tint is looking pretty cool. Let's copy it. And let's paste it on this one. And let's change the color to this blue. And like I said, we might want to cheat it a little bit, just kind of change the color so we can get the right look. And then this last one, we can leave it the full color or we can go back to the tint. For now, let's just go back to the tint. And this one, we can change it. Maybe we just change it to normal. Let's see. This is the part where, huh, that looks pretty cool, wow. So you can see Amigos that just by experimenting, you can get really cool stuff. And this is the part where it gets fun because this is where you're in the lab. You're experimenting with different things. And sometimes by trying things out, you can get really cool looks. Well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it like this for now. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, we can leave it like this. And we can also add, let's add a drop shadow to the cutout effect go down to perspective let's see where is perspective where is perspective right here drop shadow 
and let's change the distance and let's soften it up maybe 20 maybe make it 25 and we can copy this and then paste it and paste it so it makes it stand out a little bit more okay and remember, there is no right or wrong way of doing this. This is totally up to you. I actually didn't use this blending mode, classic color, but just giving you different ideas of what you can do. This might look better, this one. Yeah. yeah. Just play around. This is the part where you have fun and you play around. But I'm giving you some ideas that you can definitely start out with. Now, for the first part, what we'll do is these are actually the ones that I cut out for the Derrick Henry piece. So we'll use some of these. Now, you can see that I try to select shots where there is a continuous motion, where it looks like he's he could be in motion. It's the same, it's the same movement. And that works really well when you're doing these stop motion. If you can create something that looks like it's the same movement, it'll work even better. So we'll do that. Let's... For this, let's just color code it and make it blue so we know that's Derrick Henry. And we'll use this one. Let's go bring this one down here. Let's see, bring this one down here. And let's bring it all the way. Let's, let's see. Now let's put it over the text. Let's scale it down. And what we'll do is we can scale it down here let's make sure that it's in the center and we'll splice it at 10 frames and we'll swap it let's swap it with the second one and then at frame 20 splice it and then swap it with this one and then this one we can increase the size and go like this and here let's splice it and delete this one I'm going to color code these three so we know the blue ones pertain to Derrick Henry okay so this one can be small and then this one we can scale it up a little bit more maybe about this 26 percent let's see 40 no that's too much let's see 35 and then this one could be Let's make it 50. Let's make it bigger. And these are high res image, so we can go pretty big. So we can do something like this. You can see the continuous motion really helps going from this frame to this frame or this section to this section. And then boom, he turns to the side. So by simply having some movement that seems like it's the same movement and just scaling it up helps a lot. And then this one is just having fun with colors. You can have fun with colors. So let's check it out. Amigos, that's pretty much how I created the Derrick Henry intro. These are the basic steps to get started in creating a promo of this style. Obviously, you can go ahead and create more cutouts, put the team logos. You can switch it to maybe from going every 10 frames, maybe every 15 frames, or maybe even a full second. Definitely check out the one that I created for the NFL because it'll just give you ideas. You can see this is a, a first cutout, followed by this cutout, then this cutout. Then I went to this one. You can see I added the tint. The first line is highlighted. The second line, and you can see the top and the bottom, I added a drop shadow. And I'm just playing with different images, different cutouts, different styles, every 10 frames. And then here I left it. Then we go to this one, just another cutout, tint with a logo. Same thing with here. And then this one, yeah, I added the crown, I added the chairs because it was a make way for the king video. So he is King Henry. So we had to give it that King Henry look. And that's it. Now. Got to be honest, there are two plugins that I did use. Maybe you can see this halftone pattern. And these plugins are from the Sapphire collection from Boris FX. Now, I collaborate with Boris FX. Great people, great plugins. 
and they're kind enough to give a discount to all my subscribers, 15% off any of their plugins. So check it out, it's in the description. I'm gonna show you the two plugins that I used for Sapphire to finish this off. Let's create a new adjustment layer and make sure it's on the top. And let's go to effect Sapphire stylize. And one is, the first one is vintage color three strip. And it just kind of saturates and makes it, definitely gives it more saturation and a little bit more contrast. And if it's a little too much, we can always dial it down a little bit. And that is why I apply these effects to adjustment layers so I can dial down the strength of the plugin. And let's call this vintage, vintage color. Let's make one more adjustment layer. And this one, I'm gonna call it halftone. And let's go back to Sapphire Stylize and it is half tone color. And let's change the dot frequency to 120. Change the blending mode to soft light and drop down the opacity to about 20% to create this look. And I move these dots. So the dots shift X. All you need to do is write a simple expression. Alt click on the stopwatch time times three and you have the dots moving in the X direction. And this is maybe something that I, you could work on and fix. I think I need, needs to be, these colors needs to be fixed a little bit. You see, just need to tweak it a little bit and make sure that it looks perfect. But this is a part where it becomes fun. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is one of the NFL videos in the lineup of stuff that I did during the NFL 2020 season. Happy to share with you the knowledge on how I created and hopefully this could inspire you and help you in your work when you're creating your very own sports intro and love to see the work post. If you use this, please post, give me a link. Would love to see what you come up with. Thank you very much. Remember that life is truly a gift. Make it count.